morning, everybody. February 15th, 2022, when I'm filming this. It's minus 20 outside Celsius. And our light is still purple at the intersection. Maybe they'll just leave it like that forever. Maybe the other one will go purple too, and it'll just be a complete purple intersection. Who knows? Oh, well now I got a burp. Oh, let me speak, body. <clears throat> I'm ready. Okay, it's a skid steer kind of day. I just delivered a skid steer with tracks here to Portage La Prairie. I have another one that's going to Steinbeck. I just called the receiver there and they're like, bring her on down, Trucker Josh, come on down. So they're ready for me. They're there till five and I'll be there around four o'clock. I'll show you. I'll show you one sec, one sec, one sec. You guys ready? Through here, you'll see that one right over there. That's the one I just delivered here now. Very nice. I would highly recommend them. One second. Let's see this. And there's the second one. This one does not have tracks. It's got wheels. But I still highly recommend them. I wish it was mine. I wish I was taking it home or to my land so that I could uh, do something very useful with it because it looks very, very useful. Yes, but Steinbeck needs it. So it's going close to my house, but not to my house. So close, right? It's a New Holland. It is apparently proudly built in the USA with Chinese parts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, probably. New Holland. So uh, these things are pretty hard to get a hold of, apparently. So people are ordering them all the way from the U.S. and stuff. Uh, and then we're bringing them up. These came from, uh, I'd have to check the paperwork again. They came somewhere in the U.S. Well, obviously they came from the U.S. Because they are built in the U.S. With purely American steel. Every nut, bolt, and tire manufactured right in America, of course. Right? So... Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, my folder got driven over. I gotta clean this up here. That orange folder I have, I left it at the back here. And as he was backing off, he clipped it a little bit. It wasn't his fault, but I'm gonna clean that up right after I'm done talking to you. And gotta clean up these straps. Anyways, I did not use those straps to tie these things down. I chained them down, just to clarify. But these straps were like left in the bucket for some reason. Ah, uh, the driver before me. Left them in the bucket. I'd like to have a conversation. I'd like to know why. Not like it was a big problem or anything. It's just why'd you leave the straps in the bucket? And why didn't you roll them up? Why'd you just... So many questions. Must have been in a big rush. Big rush. Definitely didn't have the time. Alright, so let's bring that to its home in Steinbach. And, uh... We'll enjoy the ride there. Why not? Uh-huh. It's gonna be a good day. It's already been a good day. It's been a very good day. I had some good news this morning. I had a meeting with the boss and the boss boss and the boss's boss. Like the... Such good guys. You know, I always leave feeling good after I talk to them. I don't know. Good guys. Good guys. So we have some good things coming down the pike and down the pipe in the future. And, uh... Excited. Can't wait till summer. I gotta tell you something. Okay, 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 keep my mouth shut. I'm terrible at keeping secrets. There may or may not be a truck show. Or two or three. Coming up in summertime that I may or may not be attending. That's all you get. That's all you get. That's all I know. <laughs> Alright, let's bring this bad boy to, to Steinbach. Stony Brook. So since I'm not from Portage La Prairie, Manitoba here, I don't know how to get back onto the eastbound Trans Canada because it's been closed on the west side of town. Like the entrance onto the eastbound side has been closed for like 10 years and they still haven't fixed it or finished it. So the only way I know of to get back onto the eastbound side is to go all the way through town to the east side of town. Any of you from here know how you can access the highway from the other side? I mean, I don't mind driving through Portage here. I haven't been here in a while. I never come here. And there's a bypass on the highway, right? So if I do come past here, it's usually on the bypass. It's 
it's a nice little town. Give it some credit. It's got some problems, but what town doesn't, right? What town doesn't? <laughs> I don't even know how far through town I am. This used to be the Trans-Canada. See, this is Highway Trans-Canada 1A, which means it's the Trans-Canada that goes through town. This used to be the main highway and we have to go through here every single time when you're going east to west across the province That before they built the bypass. I wonder how much traffic was affected when they built the bypass. Because all of the traffic through the entire nation would have to go through here, right? So when they bypassed it, like, I know they lost all the truck traffic, which probably cleared things up here quite a bit and made things better in some ways, like less truck traffic. But I wonder if the businesses suffered at all. I mean, there's a Timmy's here, so you know it's making money. It doesn't matter where you put a Timmy's, you can put it like in the middle of a field, like 300 kilometers away from the nearest town. It'll be packed every day, line up around the field. Find a gear there, there you go. Look at that cab over truck over there, that's pretty cool. Old school. I don't know why these trucks behind me are in the left lane, they're clogging up all of traffic. Look at that though, that's nice. Old school. You see, usually trucks all stay in the right lane so that regular traffic that moves a little quicker than us can get around us on the left. Well, for some reason, this guy behind me is, uh, oh, he's turning left. Okay, see, there's always a reason. Don't judge people. There's always a reason. But the guy behind him wasn't turning left. I don't know, I don't understand everything. This is, uh, what is this, their government building here? Their law office? something courts it's quite a bit of history in Portage La Prairie see this guy he's coming up in the left lane here why now this whole road is gonna be plugged up with slow moving trucks and cars that can move a little quicker can't get past why do if you're one of the people that does that like honest question why why plug up the whole road Nice truck. I'll give him that. Nice truck. <laughs> Very nice. It just keeps getting nicer. He's not even moving faster than me. He's plugging up the whole road. I don't know. I don't know. Is that normal? Is that something that bothers you too, or is it just me? It might just be my own pet peeve. What do I keep telling you, everybody? It's either minus 50 or it's this. We're lucky it's not windy. Knock on wood. It's just the never ending winter. I mean, I like it. I, I love the snow coming down. I love how beautiful it makes everything look. Nice and fresh, but come on. Come on already. Again, more snow. At least it's the end of the day. My trailer's empty behind me now. I unloaded both skid steers. So now I was pretty much right next door to my house. Now I've got to bring this truck and the trailer back to the yard and then go back to my house. All while trying to stay on the road. At least the road's not bad yet. I mean, it might look bad to people who aren't used to driving in winter, I get it, but uh, you can see the pavement, so that's pretty good. It's just another Manitoba afternoon. Isn't that a song? No, well it is now. This is the road in the area I, I grew up on. This nothing feels more like home than right here. Right in Blumenschnart. Blumenart, Manitoba. Established 1876. 
I think that, no, <laughs> I got it wrong. 1874, that's when Bloomington was established. That's when the steamboats landed at the Rat in the Red River. And all of this was all useless swampland. Nobody wanted it. The British didn't want it, they deemed it unusable. The French didn't want it, they settled along the rivers, they deemed it unusable. The indigenous didn't want it because they couldn't hunt on it because it was all swamps. It was just no man's land, nobody wanted this land. So in we came. We came from the Netherlands and northwestern Germany and if you know anything about the Netherlands and that part of the world, they know how to irrigate and how to drain swamps and how to deal with water, let's say. They know how to deal with water very well. So we came in here, we built all the canals, we drained all the swamps. Built up farms and now the area is one of the most prosperous, if not the most prosperous region of our province. And 250 years ago it was deemed unusable by everyone else. Look at it now. Full of snow, you can't see it. I know. <laughs> but wait till summer, then you'll see it. Yeah, we were the Mennonites. Uh, it's a, a sect of Christianity that was being persecuted. Uh, we left actually in the Netherlands and Germany. We went and actually spent about 200 years in, uh, I believe what is now called Ukraine. Spent 200 years there and then uh, the Soviets came in. They didn't like us very much because they don't like religion people. So uh, we got persecuted there. So hey, we came to Canada and nobody wanted this land. The Mennonites took it. Nowadays we're just Canadian. I mean, I don't identify as anything other than Canadian. I was born here. This is my native land. This is my country. This is where we will forever stay. Unless if it gets really bad, and you know, with the way things are going nowadays, you never know, we might have to flee this place too. <laughs> That's a topic for another vlog. That's a topic for another channel altogether. It's the state of Canada right now. My goodness. My goodness. What a mess. I hope it's better by the time you watch this, but ah, it's probably gotten worse. But uh, let's be honest, it's probably gotten worse. All right, all right. End of the day is here. Let's certify it. Oh, it's it's done. Done like dinner. Speaking of dinner, I want to go home. I'm hungry. Let's log out of here just in case if someone. Shop jumps in my truck and moves it around that it doesn't go on my e-log. Done! Okay. Okay, let's grab a pen here. One thing we gotta do before we leave, we gotta grab our calendar right there and uh cross that off. Tuesday. In the books. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Halfway to the weekend tomorrow. Mm. Alright, off we go. Got keys, got Got everything. <gasps> What's forgot? A thermos. I knew I was forgetting something. That's why I was sitting around here staring at the dashboard. There's something I'm missing. Okay. Whew. Got a little bit of snow today. Buddy's car is almost covered right up. Hicks. Ah oh, man. Dun, 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 dun. Locked and secure. Oh look, there's a beautiful pickup right there. Oh, look at that. Let's plug in my semi truck. It's called semi truck because it's only half a truck. Has no sleeper. <laughs> oh, this thing's old, but she's uh, she's still good to go. She's never gonna die. This thing will go forever. She may not look the prettiest, but she's reliable. If you just gotta treat her right. One second, you gotta, come on. Got a little bit of attitude, but, ah, there, see? <laughs> ah, 
Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh yes, I got a big grease spot on this jacket. Look at this. I got other jackets at home that I can use, but whoops. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I touched something I wasn't supposed to touch. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't even know. I don't even know. I shouldn't say that. That sounds bad. Uh, Grab all my electronics. I don't leave any of these things in the truck. That right there is like uh, $1,500. <laughs> Just that little pile. And then there's my lunch, the most important part. All that stuff, whatever. This, this is where the snacks go. Cookies. All right. Uh, what else do I got here? Oh, my extra toque. All right, girl. Sleep well, eh? Stay out of trouble. I'll be back for you. Lock her up so nobody steals this bad girl you know very desirable truck look at this thing hasn't quite fallen apart yet so she's stuck <laughs> oh so much potential though eh so much potential in this truck one day we're gonna get her to her potential one day same with those over there yeah yeah, yeah. all right it's time to go home Where's my keys? Where's all my keys? Where'd all my keys go? Oh, they're down here. See? I gotta keep all my keys on my fancy little... My fancy little uh, keystone thingy here. This is what keeps me organized. My whole life is right here. My truck, the gate key, my mail key, my house key, my uh, lock on my hitch cover that says Silverado, and my motorcycle alarm. And then, the, you can, see? That comes with me everywhere I go. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, there's snow on the hood. <sighs> what? Because you live in Canada, that's why. Do, 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 do. Let's go and brush off the snow. Brush off the snow. Got my snow brush in here. Ha ha! Uh -huh. now, look at all that. What a mess. What a what an ugly mess. Man. And get that off of you so you can see the Chevy beneath it and make it look a lot better. Yeah, there you go. You never want to cover up a Chevy. No, you don't cover up true beauty. Never. Oh yeah, that, that's nice. That is like fluffy snow. That would be great for snowshoeing, cross country skiing, snowmobiling, all that stuff. That was great for that. Didn't know it was supposed to snow today. Nobody told me. Usually I would have left my wipers up then, but if you don't tell me it's gonna snow, how am I supposed to prepare myself? Jeepers. That is fluffy snow. That is wonderful. Terrible for making snowballs though. Terrible for snowball fights. Doesn't work at all. Alright, let's give him the chest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good wipers. We are still in 4WD from before. I've got a manual shifter. I don't have a push button shifter, so I have to always put it in 4WD before I park it. Because if I park it in two wheel drive, sometimes it, it's too cold. It doesn't let me put it in four wheel drive. And then I'm stuck. Damn, we're going home. What's the time? When am I getting out of here? One second, I'm gonna get out of this place here first. Oh, it's almost so much snow everywhere. I've got so much snow this winter. Okay, I don't need the four-wheel drive anymore. <clears throat> there we go. Come on, it is six, quarter after six. I've got handed some paperwork yet, so by the time I leave here, 6.30. Whew, long day again. 
Oh, always lots to do. We need more people. Do you want to come drive here? Seriously, let us know. We have we have a, openings. Owner operators, company drivers, van division, dr uh, uh, flatbed division, regional division, long haul division, city drivers. We need them all. You want to work for the best place ever? You you let us know. Let me know. We'll put you in touch. You got to be a Canadian citizen or have a work visa and immigration already set up. We don't do any of that. And you got to have legal right to work here and two years experience with a valid class one license with a decent driver's abstract. Okay. If you can pr if you can do that for us and provide that for us, you got a job waiting for you. Put my name in the reference though, please. I'll get a little kickback for that. Oh, this way. This way. Oh, where's my button? Where's my button? Somebody told me that if I put my watch, this gate button, is it going to work from here? Of course not. It's probably going to work. No, it didn't work. But if I put it to my chin? Didn't work. Yeah, there it goes. Ha! It works. For some reason, when you put the gate button to your chin, it works from further away. I thought people were just pulling my leg. Maybe they were. But joke's on them because it actually works. Put the thing on your chin and it uses like your head as a magnifying signal and the signal goes further. You can open the gate from further away. <laughs> the more you know. The more you know. All right, everybody, it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I make new content all the time, and uh, I'd love to have you as a part of this team here. Team TJV, or a family, family TJV. Family channel. You can let the kids watch my content, and uh, they won't hear anything they're not supposed to hear. You can just have it playing in the background. And we can all hang out together every day. We're just going to check on this street light out here, okay? Real quick, is it still purple? I think it is. Whoa, ho, 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 slippery, ho, slippery. Just spinning like crazy. Look at this, look at fish tailing all over the road. Jeez. Oh boy, I gotta get that air moving on that window. Yeah, it's still purple, if you're wondering. Still purple. Okay, we gotta start counting how many days. It's a black light. It can tell if you're vaccinated or not. Ooh. It's a government conspiracy. Are you moving over for me, bud? Thank you, good sir. Thank you. Wasn't moving over for the longest time. I'm coming through, bud. I'm coming on whether you like it or not. You get your little trailer out of my way. I'm going home. I have a mission. There's food at home. <laughs>